Right, so Jet's down in side control. Um, this is kind of just the other entry into the omoplata. Um, and this goes back to what we were doing with the forward rolls, right? So I've got my hips rooting into the ground as low as I possibly can get them. I've got my regular pressure here. I'm going to move and I'm putting my palm on his uh, hip right here. I'm going to drive my elbow down so I'm controlling his hips. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder to control his shoulder. And I'm going to slide my knee up and tuck my heel underneath his butt. Come into this uh, knee ride position. And there are several ways I can start to separate his arm here. But my most common way is I'm just going to bring my knees together and slide this off and then come back to a regular side control position. From here, my leg is stapling his arm down to the ground. So it's not, you know, it's not impossible for him to get his arm out, but it's going to be rather difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and windshield wiper here. So I'm bringing this leg over and I'm going to put it on top of his bicep. Now I'm going to bring this leg and I'm going to extend it back so that I have access to his wrist. wrist and then I just slide my leg through so I've got this nice control here. I like to grab at the elbow when I go into this transition. The wrist is just a little bit too loose. I like to be a little, a lot tighter with them. So I'm gonna come up on top. And from here, I've got two ways that I can go. The way that I tend to like, is I wanna get my hips close under his arm. I've made the mistake of trying to do this when his elbow is not past my hips. And what I find is that sometimes their arms don't do what I want them to do. So I get high up and I keep that, start to create that bend in his arm and I just slide off and we're back into that omoplata position from this uh, arm ride position. So that you guys can enjoy the full glory of my ass. We'll do it from this side so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so I control the hips, control the shoulder, slide my knee up. I try to do this with as little space as possible because again, he's probably gonna be trying to bridge into me. He's probably gonna be trying to pull guard by getting that lower knee in. So if I can keep that space small, I'm not gonna allow him to get underneath me. Then I come up into that knee right position, I wipe down, and I come back and I reroot myself into the ground. Now it's gonna be hard for me to start to pull the guard, but I'm still gonna probably block while I'm going through this. I could be trying to pinch with my elbow just to keep him too close to me for him to be able to pull that knee in. I windshield wipe, grab his shoulder, extend so that I could have access to that wrist, and then I slide down. I'm not too worried about unreading un myself. If he did try to bridge me in this process, it's going to be hard for him because his arm is so uh, anchored down. But if he tried to bridge me that way, I have a post, right? I can let go of his uh, shoulder to get there. So I move from the wrist to his elbow. I sit on his chest and I bring his bicep all the way into my crotch so that his elbow is high. And then I just swing off and get into that omoplata position. And of course, any follow-ups that I want to do from here, I can totally do from here. All right. And there you guys go. There is our deep look into the omoplata.